Welcome to my doctor, it's Raymond, and we are going to talk about safe days. What are safe days? Why do you need to know safe days? Well, if you don't know the answer to those questions, I'm here to help you answer them. Well, they say there is no good that comes without a price. Other places take to A price is pregnancy. Yeah. And in these safe days, first of all, they are going to help us monitor. <coughs> oh, when we consider the safe days, we will know when we are supposed to the side of the females or the women to know when you will ovulate, to know the days you will be infertile and the days you will be fertile. And the days that you will be infertile are the days that we call our safe days. Those days, in case of unprotected sex, basically, you cannot get pregnant. So, before we go further, we will first talk about Why do you know about the menstrual cycle? Here, and the menstrual cycle, we have basically three stages. We have the pre ovulatory, then the ovulation itself. And the post ovulation. Or post ovulatory. And what happens here? Here we have a total of 14 days. That's like on average. Basically, this menstrual cycle is made up of made up of on average supposed to be 28 days all that's a month of the menstrual cycle and this can range from 28 from 26 28 and 32 and this is the range we are taking for our safe days and if your math doesn't fall between these from 26 to 32 this won't help We'll have to use another method. So, when we come to the pre ovulatory we have this day one to the 14th day. That's for the case of the 28th calendar. So, day one, how do you know this is day one? Day one is the day when you first see your menses or the blood. We mark that as our day one. And this can take two, it can take three to five days depending or even seven days to some people but from it continues from those five days to 14 days that's the period on 14 days up to the 13th day and our ovulation here that's the release of the egg this pre ovulatory was the development or the growth of this egg but here ovulation the egg is released to the fallopian tubes and ovulation happens around the 14th and the 16th that's the period when the egg is released and this period that's when the egg is is very viable or it can be fertilized by the sperm then we have the post ovulatory this continues from the 16th to the last day which might be the 28th case of this calendar of 28 days so there are a lot of hormones involved here but we won't talk about that today we shall see that next time and basically that's the number of days pre ovulatory will take 1 to 14 or to the 13th here will take 14 to 16 and here 16 28 those are the three stages 
about the menstruation or menstrual cycle. So, what are these safe days? Because you have a total of 28, because you're using this as average, it can be 26, it can be 32, or 27, or 29, or 30. So, what are these safe days? These safe days are the days when somebody is infertile, or when this egg is not available at the moment and can be fertilized by the sperm. So, in that case, a person cannot get pregnant. And these safe days, well, as a method of preventing pregnancy, I would say it's cheaper because you don't need to apply anything or buy anything to control. And it's healthier because you don't take any drugs in the process. So, safe days is under a big term which are our, which is the farms, which are the fertility, fertility, awareness, methods. It's under this, the fertility awareness methods that we can determine our safe days. But the awareness methods can be like the methods we use to know the time when we will have the ovulation take place. And then it's the same type, it's the same method that we'll use to know which days are safe for us. So we are going to cover this in our next video. And don't remember to subscribe to my doctor. Thank you.